Okay, so this is a video guide on how to install uh, Bruce's watches. Um, if you purchase them from his shop, his page, uh, from any of his uh, links, right? Um, these watches are beautiful and quite amazing, and they're actually quite easy to set up for your avatar. Um, but they are actually really, really simple to set up, and I am going to teach you how to do that process here. Um, so what you're going to do, if you want to test it, I would highly recommend downloading this. This is just an emulator, as you can see. It just lets you check the avatar and that in Unity, right? Um, anyways, we're going to get onto the installation process of um, how to install this onto your VRChat avatar. There we go. And I'm going to hide my shirt, right? And then what we're going to do is you're going to click into the folder. Once you imported everything, you want to have your Pyomi shader and then uh, the Bruce watches in here, right? I personally like the roulette watch personally, but it's all preference and your choice, right? So you're going to click and drag that onto your avatar's name, right? Once you have that there, you're going to position it how you want on your avatar, right? Um, I'm just going to do a fast job uh, just so you guys can see um, how to get this process done. I'm not going to make it perfect. As you can see, I don't really care. Um, so if there's a little bit clipping or anything that you see, don't worry. I technically won't worry about it. Um, just due to the fact that I'm just doing an installation video. Right. So then once we have it in uh, where we want, right, what you're going to do is hit add component and then type in parent constraint, right? And then it's going to be this uh, first one here, right? Click that. And then you're going to hit uh, on the sources right here. You're going to hit this plus sign. And then you're going to go to your armature, drop that down, drop down hips. Then I have this on my left arm, right? Um, depending on what arm you have it on, right? You're going to find that out. Um, go to spine, then chest, and then mine's on my left arm, so shoulder left, upper arm left, and then since it's on my lower arm, which is my elbow to my hand, that's the parameters, right? It's going to be, that's my lower arm, if you had to draw like an imaginary box here, right? So I would click this bone, I would click that bone, right? I would click on the, uh, the uh, asset name again, and then you're going to click and drag the lower arm bone into this box right here, and then you're going to hit activate. Right, and that just locks it. So like now if I was trying to move it, it doesn't move, you know, it just, it's stuck there. And basically it'll tell when you upload it, hey, it's stuck on my left arm bone, you know? And that's how you get that uh, properly placed onto your avatar. And now what we're gonna do is you're gonna click on your avatar's name, find your effects layer, right? Which is here, double click into that, right? And then as you can see, there's no base layer here, right? You're gonna click on base layer and then you're gonna find your, uh, the watch again, right? And then instead of clicking on the prefab, you're going to click on animation, as you can see here. And then you're going to click and drag it just into your base layer. Just right. Just let it go and just leave it. Right. And then you're going to add a new layer. Just leave it to just leave the name new layer. And then click this little cogwheel and turn this, turn the weight up to one. You want that up to one. And then click into there. And then you're going to do the same thing here. Right. Bam. Right. And then I believe that's it. And then once you have that all the way you want it, right. Um, I am gonna go here, keep my friend's hoodie. This is my friend's avatar that I made for him. So now we're gonna test it. So we're gonna add the script here, as you can see, right? And then we're gonna go into importing uh, or play mode, sorry. And then we'll just let Unity do its thinking process and then we'll just wait for it. Um, and I'll come back whenever this video is ready. Okay, and now that we're in play mode, and you can see that I have a script working because it's positioning the avatar as it would, right? Um, we can zoom in on the watch, and now you can see that is it is working um, inside of Unity. And this is how you set up Bruce's watch. I hope this video has helped you, and um, if you have any questions, please join his Discord server and feel free to ask. Um, he is super friendly and supportive. I love his uh, assets and his uh, creations. Please uh, support my friend Bruce. Um, Love you guys.